Joining us now here on the MMA Report is man that's going to be returning to the cage. Valor Fights 36 coming up on August the 13th. Of course, this event could be headlined by Sidney Wheeler defending the middleweight title against Joe Riggs. We're now joined by Dalton Fox, who's going to be taking on Nick Baker. Dalton, man, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? Oh, man, I cannot complain. Obviously, uh, you know, you're, you're looking to get back on the winning side of the fight, uh, you know, since that, that last fight there in June. Uh, you know, first off, what, what's been going on since that fight? Uh, working and training, man. That's about it. Taking care of my family. Um, look forward to get back into the cage. That's something I love to do and something I enjoy doing. Um, I've, I've joined a new gym. You know what I mean? I've joined KMAA. I've joined Johnson City. I've went and cross-trained with a bunch of gyms to try to get my ground game a lot better so everybody will quit taking me down and submit me. You know, was it, it was that just a, a reflection of your last fight where you realized you kind of – there needed to be some changes made in, in terms of how you train for fights? Yes, sir. And, and what about those gyms led you to those places? Um, honestly, I had I had friends that ever – at every single gym I went and cross-trained, I've had friends that are dominant. I mean, just dominant on their back. And, the, I mean, it's, it's hard for anybody to submit them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I see them doing that, I know I've got to do it. And when I got submitted this last time, by well, I got beat on the ground by Sawyer, I, I knew then I, I've got to quit. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get serious, time to just quit playing with it and actually take it as a career instead of just, you know what I mean? More as a career and a job than just, you know, fun time. For you, and obviously you're trying to get the, as much training as you possibly can, how, how do you balance your schedule in making sure that, that you're getting the proper training in for fights? Um, well, now I got this new job. I work from six in the morning till two in the afternoon. So I, after about four o'clock, I train from four to about 10 o'clock at night, every single day, Monday through Saturday. And then Sunday I rest and do it all over again come Monday. Um, I have, you know, third people come down from other gyms to help me, help me learn new positions, help me learn new techniques. And I thank everybody that, you know, helped me get to where I'm at today. Have you have you you know have you seen major changes? Maybe is your mental mindset in terms of the game much different than it was heading into your last fight? Yes, sir. In just the last three weeks, I, my whole mental mindset and my my techniques, my ability, my ground game, all that has become a seventy five percent better chance of me winning fights than just by standing up and fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm, my, ugh, my record's one and three and one, and ever since that happened, I'm tired of losing, man. I was an amateur. I was six wins, one loss. You know, I, mean, I was undefeated until I went up for the belt in the second round. Randy Stamey beat me. And when that happened, it devastated me. And as I got pro, you know, it was, I, t- I guess I took it as a joke the first couple of times. Mm-hmm. The first couple of fights, as soon as I, I kept getting beat, I was like, man, it's time to quit playing around and actually take it serious. So when I lost to Sawyer June 4th, I knew right then it was time to quit playing. And, of course, now it's taking on Nick Baker. Uh, you know, how, how familiar are you with Nick? I mean, is this a guy that, that you've known around, or really uh, you just became aware of him when this fight was uh, offered to you? No, sir. Me and Nick are really good friends. That's one of my best friends out of the fighting organization. Uh, me and Nick has clicked ever since I've started. I've been fighting for almost three years now, and I love it. And everything that I do in the cage, you know, ha- has to reflect of the people that helped me from day one. And like I said, you know, I appreciate everything that everybody ever has ever done for me to help me to get to where I'm at today. And like back to Baker, he's, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, he's, he's a great friend and a great person. I love him like he's a brother, but, you know, at the same time, when I step in the cage, I can't look at it like that. You know, he's an opponent. Well, this, I mean, it's a fight, you know, and it's something I have to do. Is is the hardest part of this fight, maybe is it is it more mentally because you're going in there, uh, you know, fighting, you know, someone you know, fighting a friend and and knowing that, you know, you, you got to, you know, you got to beat them up. Is that the most challenging part of this fight? Yes, sir, it is. Uh, when we got offered this fight together, uh, the fans and the publicity have been wanting to see this fight for the last three years that I've fought because we have, you know, the same techniques of fighting. Both stand up. They don't like to go to the ground. And ever since that's happened, you know, Nick's been in my corner. <clears throat> Pardon me. Nick's been in my corner to help and support me and corner me when I need to or, 
you know, help me out with whatever I need. And now I'm stepping in against him. So, I mean, it's a little bit of different. It's, it's, it's a different mindset. And instead of just stepping in there with somebody I don't even know. Have you guys ever sparred against each other in the past? Yes, we've trained and we've sparred and everything. I mean, it's, you know, we're very good friends, like I said. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very tough fight for me. I mean, it's going to be one of the biggest fights of my career. In terms of when when you've sparred against somebody in in the preparations leading this fight, is that really what you think about all the time? Is maybe some of the things he did in sparring, and and maybe that's the best way to get prepared for this fight? It, it is, but you know, at the same time, I have to look at what he's done here recently in the cage, not not what he's done three, four years ago. You know, what I mean, what he's done yesterday, what he done a month ago. I have to look at that that setting and that mindset of what he's what he's trained on, what he's gotten better at, just by looking at his fight and what he has to do. I've worked, you know what I'm saying. I need to watch out for them crazy kicks he does. You know what I'm saying. I got to watch out for stuff like that because if not, I'm gonna get caught. And but court- I mean, at the same time, both both of us are coming in and going to try to take each other's head off. I mean, it's going to be a bloodbath fight. And, of course, this fight is going to be a part of Valor Fights 36 coming up on August the 13th. Of course, you can watch this event on flowcombat.com. Final thing, Dalton, and I really do appreciate time. How do, how do you see yourself getting a victory in this fight? Um, hopefully by knockout. I mean, you know, if not, then, you know, hopefully we'll stand up and bang all three rounds. I'm hoping that's the way it goes. That's where everybody's wanting to see it. I mean, if not, you know, I'm hopefully by TKO. All, I, all I'm worried about is the W. I mean, because I need my record even. I cannot I cannot afford to lose another fight. And, of course, as I mentioned, you'll be able to see us. Valor fights, 36 Dalton. Really appreciate time. Good luck in the fight, man. Thank you so much. You have a great day, sir.